Oh yeah, check it out. Got another car here. It's another Caprice. It's a 95. It's a baby LT1. The 4.3. But still moves pretty good. It's got some chips on the hood. The paint's actually pretty decent. Other than that, it's actually like a burgundy color. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. My brother washed it, but we need to wash it again. That was a few days ago. And it needed a couple washings. But yeah, the interior is clean too. This is my friend's car. He was an older guy, you know. I know him. I have friends of all ages. You see, it had hand controls on it. Yeah, this is Paul's car. And if you, any of you guys know Paul, he's a real cool dude. And he took real good care of his cars. See, that has a little cut in it. That's probably from his wheelchair. Cause he used to just throw it in back here and slide across. But yeah, he took real good care of his, his vehicles. This one he had for a few years he this was like the last one of his last cars he bought and he did that he redid the interior because he used to do a leather because it, it made him easier for him to get in and, in and out so he's always redoing interior you know the carpets brand new plus he was just like way too much all the time if something was wrong with it he was getting it fixed or he was fixing it so his cars are in really good condition I mean, in comparison with like other Caprice classics this year, I, I bet a person would be happy with this. You know, they they find that uh, it was well taken care of. You know, it's got good tires on it. I mean, like I'm saying, it's got chips in the paint and there's things that ain't perfect about it. But like he was fixing a lot of shit on it. See, my brother needed to watch. He missed that spot. But yeah, I'm gonna watch it some more. But right now I gotta get the title on it. It does have a, a salvage title because it got rear-ended. So this bumper is new and I think maybe that they did something with the trunk lid is what the paperwork said. So it's gonna be a salvage title, but it don't really matter. They just bought it back from an insurance. It's got 170,000 on it. saying start right up it go but it, it'd be blurry for a second it, 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 it comes through though you know I got an Alpine CD player in there that was my CD you know what I'm saying I wasn't called CD um, yeah I'm about to take the hand controls off but it's got them right now you know what I'm saying it's a runner it's got registration, but uh, they had lost the title, so I, I just gotta turn in the paperwork on it whenever I feel like it, and I don't really feel like it yet. I had to get all all uh, all their info. But yeah, that that'll come on. A lot of dashes are like that. It. it after driving it for a second, it powers up. Also, it could be like the battery. So we had to jump it. Cap is sitting. But yeah, you know that. You know when you see that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look how blue that is. That's how you know it was Paul's car. So yeah, I mean, it had a break and light inspection because it was salvaged like a, a year ago and so like and it passed everything you know it passed the smog i need to re-smog it once i once i sell it but uh pass the smog you know what i'm saying pass break lights but it stops and starts and, and it's good you know what i'm saying it's a 4.3 so it's not done got the power of an lt1 but uh but it gets better gas mileage i believe so yeah, there it is right here. You know what I'm saying? All right, anyone?
is interested, you know. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably asking like 2,500 for it. So, if anyone's interested, let me know. I'm not really tripping, you know. I'll take offers too, so. Basically, I'm just helping a friend of my family, family friends, you know, uh, sell some of their cars because they got a lot of them, so. And it's a nice condition one, so there it is. 1995, baby, LT1. 4.3 yeah paul's old, old car r.i.p paul all right see you guys later peace